Thanks, Bob. Now, story that everyone is talking about. Disturbing new details surfacing in the arrest of a Columbus mother charged with three counts of felony murder and human trafficking in connection with the asphyxiation, murder, and sexual assault of her five-year-old daughter, Kamari Holland. News 3's Elizabeth White has more. Thirty-five-year-old Christy Sipple cowers under her hair, hiding her face just before her first appearance Wednesday inside a Russell County District Courtroom. The biological mother of five-year-old Kamari Holland is now facing multiple charges in the child's murder. She has been charged with murder during the course of kidnapping, murder during the course of rape, murder. During the course of sodomy and human trafficking. Investigators say Sipple reported the child missing from her Columbus home. Sipple claimed she had awakened early on December 13th, found her daughter missing, the front door open. However, according to the human trafficking warrant, investigators allege Sipple on or about December 13th, 2021, did knowingly subject another person to labor servitude or sexual servitude. She did agree with another person to pay her for having sexual intercourse and sodomy with her minor child. That person was allegedly 37-year-old Jeremy Williams, who had a history of abusing children. Williams was arrested and charged with capital murder of a child less than 14 after the girl's body was located in a vacant 15th Avenue home in Phoenix City, where Williams used to live. Investigators have said Sipple and Williams had a relationship. Additional charges against him are forthcoming. We expect in the next couple of days he will be charged with capital murder during the course of kidnapping, capital murder during the course of rape, capital murder during the course of sodomy, production of child pornography. A gag order has been issued in the case preventing investigators from commenting further, but the devastating reality of what they believe Kamari Holland suffered is clear. This has really struck a nerve with us because we care about our kids, we care about our community. So the only thing I have to say is that please monitor where your kids are and who they're around. We're doing everything we can to bring justice for this little girl. Reporting in Russell County, Elizabeth White, WRBL News 3, on your side. Neither defendant is eligible for bond in the case at this time. More details are expected to be released in preliminary hearings, which have not been set. Meanwhile, investigators confirm Sipple is also facing a failure to appear charge in a separate felony case regarding the chemical endangerment of a child back in 2018. News 3 is working to learn more about that investigation. Meanwhile, Georgia has broken the state's record for the number of tests confirmed COVID-19 cases. And